one ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Falcon Heavy, go NOAA, go NASA, and go, go you. We begin this week on a launch pad at Florida's Kennedy Space Center. It was there that SpaceX launched the latest climate satellite from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites, or GOES for short, aim to track local weather events like hurricanes, thunderstorms, and wildfires and monitor their effects on public safety. NOAA calls the addition of this fourth and final satellite of the GOES series the Western Hemisphere's most sophisticated weather observing and environmental monitoring system. Ignition. But the big news from space this week is what didn't happen. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams remained stranded aboard the International Space Station. When the duo of former Navy test pilots rode aboard Boeing's Starliner capsule on June 5th, issues already plagued the craft. We noticed a little bit of an increase in the uh, helium leak rate that we talked about pre-launch. Um, we could see at the tank level when the system is opened, essentially you're bleeding helium from the tank all through the flight and we could see that that leak rate was a little higher than, than we uh, had thought pre-flight. Helium is essential to Starliner's maneuverability. It's used to pressurize the fuel lines of the capsule's thrusters. That initial leak on Earth from a faulty rubber seal about the size of a shirt button preceded others that happened mid-flight. And then five of the capsule's 28 thrusters went down. Astronauts were able to revive four of them, but NASA is still analyzing the problems and has not set a return date. Despite the setbacks, Boeing remains one of NASA's top two candidates to shuttle astronauts on and off the planet alongside SpaceX. Finally this week, a creepy crawler designed for legwork that's out of this world. It's called ReachBot, and researchers at California's Stanford University say this walking modern take on the classic rover could open the door for cave exploration on the moon or Mars. Just imagine them as a 3D tape measure. They coil up really small and they can extend really long. And then at the end of each these boom, you have grippers and uh, maybe additional sensing element where you can see where you're grasping more closely and also gripper actually interacting with the surface. Researchers say sensors aboard ReachBot enable it to identify graspable surfaces and keep tension, like the fingers of your hand. Mm -hmm. Following a successful test in the Mojave Desert, researchers say they're hopeful of one day sending the machines into places robots have never been. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.